Hi, welcome. This is another video about Calamaris. It all depends what thing you pop in. You have Arc Linux, you have Arc Linux D and Arc Linux B. This is definitely Arc Linux B. And it depends what desktop, whether you'll have a plank. And if you have plank available here, then you can actually report anything back to the GitHub from Calamaris and logging files and all that, pictures and all that. Now, if you do not have plank, and um, you may wonder how do I get actually my issues across to the GitHub. Well, first of all, you need to launch Calamaris again. This time, this, this looks tweaked and themed already. In Arcalix D, it has no theming, it's the standard look. And um, we should, um, well, maybe first take my Belgian key map, AZRT, and then launch Calamaris to be able to send something to the developers, write it to a particular place on your system, best maybe the desktop in log.txt. And if you launch Calamaris like this, it will leave a trace. It will leave a file behind. Now the problem on Linux D was you don't have a browser, but you might think you don't have a browser either and use the same tip as the other one, starting with Ctrl T again and installing paste bin it. So there's a website called paste bin and paste bin it. So the application is not installed on the machine. The only thing you need to do is install it actually, minus S paste bin it. Now there's no need for, for you to do this because sometimes depending on your system, a Ctrl Alt F that's our keyboard shortcut for Firefox. It just launches. It's not because of the that the menu is not there, that the application is not there. So you could have done the same thing with Ctrl Alt T, of course, and then Firefox and see if it works. Right? It works. Is Vivaldi present? I suppose so. Right? It's present. It's going to be installed later on on the system. And if it's going to be installed, it's on the ISO as well. The look that we have is a plain vanilla bare XFCE look because we use XFCE as delivery system. It's a passing through. We don't want to develop 13 desktop ISOs. It's going to be hell. It's not possible. So one ISO that we develop, Arca Linux and everything else is a derivative. derivative. Wow. So mirroring a little bit, changing this and that puzzles, pieces of the puzzle, we change desktop, this desktop, that, and that's it. So you can actually use any of the keyboard shortcuts that we're used to. Go to pastebin.com and as usual, just copy paste text in here, from here to there, Control A, Control C, go in here, Control V and press the button, create new paste and you have a link. Well, let's do it for the video, they don't mind. And this is the thing you'll have uh, to put in your Calamaris issue. So you go to, let's include that as well, .com slash Calamaris, the place to go. I've been going there for two and a half years now. And you need to learn about how this thing works. And it's improving all the time. 71 releases. The last one, we're using the last one. Let's take a look. How do we know we're using the last one? Ctrl T. Oh, that's it. There's a little button here that says 3.2.10. So we are up to specs. The, la the last of the Calamaris is on this machine. That's it for me. Um, so any issues you might may encounter, please report them. What happens? They will fix it. That's the, 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 the idea. If we put energy, energy into it, everybody is going to benefit from it. All right. Thanks.